So if if someone's getting offended, the only reason you'd get offended is because this is pinging something inside of you. If someone says in the chat, you know, Luke's an idiot, he doesn't read books, uh, it wouldn't mm -hmm. offend me at all because I, I read basically a book a day. So the only reason you're going to take offense to anything I just said is because it, it resonates with you because you don't want to get a job because you want to be a thought leader on, on podcasts and you expect your girlfriend to pay the way or because you're drunk and high most of the time and you're offended now that I'm pointing this out. Pass. You still see that people like Elon Musk move to America just because that entrepreneurial spirit is still here. Is this still looking good going forward? Do these woke types not see the left as a threat to that? Uh, some of them do, but they have to keep quiet about it because they live in overwhelmingly leftist areas, obviously. It's just self-preservation. Uh, I don't think it is a positive that someone like Musk moves to the U.S., not because I despise Elon Musk, even though I think that he's using uh, Bitcoin. He used it, I should say, as a pump and dump scheme uh, that he wouldn't be able to get away with with stocks because of the SEC. So now he's moving on to something else. I believe Dogecoin, and I'm sure he'll be using that as a pump and dump. He's just doing I was listening to one of the great courses called American Identity, and I, I chose that course because I thought there's no American identity. Uh, there's no American nation. America is just a whole collection of nations. Well, what the hell do you mean American identity? And I start listening to the course, and it talks about the distinguishing lack of fatalism among uh, Americans. And I thought, that's right, compared to every other country of which I'm aware, certainly compared to Australia and England, there is a distinct lack of fatalism fatalism is is not really an american trait maybe there are things that, that constitute the the american identity and and emulate and desire to be a tall poppy yourself like the ambition is is cool in america getting ahead is cool making money is generally considered cool the most successful people generally speaking want to move to the united states of america they they don't want to move to korea they they don't generally move to china or, or japan if you want to make it big in the film industry or in technology you move to the united states of america the future is primarily created in three American cities, San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York City. That's where the future is created. If you want to help create the future, you want to be in Los Angeles, San Francisco, or New York. And so there is an entrepreneurial energy in the American nation. There is an American identity of pragmatism, of uh, we'll just keep trying things until we get something that, that works. And there's very little fatalism here. And so you come here with an idea, you will find a community, you will find inspiration, you'll find people who, who will excite you and uh, buoy you up. And
in some pretty unexpected places. So that's just my take there. Uh, Luke, anything to say before we move on? Yeah, Americans are able to navigate failure because we can always cling to our guns and religion. I mean, there's something to that. When you have religion, you're much less likely to be mopey and, and depressed. And uh, if you have your guns, you're also much more likely to 